Hi, my name is Takano Rikomatsu from Meiji University, Japan. I'm going to present our study about humans' wait time perception of countdown displays. And the title is like this one. So, the countdowns are a very useful display that explicitly show how long users should wait and also show the current processing state of a given task. The most user believes that the countdown digits change every one second, even though the digit is not displayed with any unit like this. So, because of such strong implicit assumption like each count decreases exactly one second in countdown, there have been almost no studies that investigate how human perceives the wait time displayed by countdown. Then, we consider investigating what are the fastest and the slowest countdown that were perceived as being the same as the display time. For example, let's think about the case of the from 5 to 0 countdown here. So, we expect that there will be a countdown which length is shorter than 5 seconds but perceived as exact 5 seconds, or there will be another countdown the which length is longer than 5 seconds but also perceived as exact 5 seconds. To figure out the kind of the auroras to be perceived as 5 seconds is our motivation. And we conducted experiment 1 to clarify this issue. As experimental stimuli, we prepared 6 different countdown and countdowns. That is the 3CD, 5CD, 10CD, 3CU, 5CU, and 10CU. And each countdown or countdowns, there were 17 different countdowns and countdowns that have 17 different intervals that were 800 to 1200 milliseconds in increment of 25 milliseconds. So there are totally the 102 countdown and countdowns. So this is an example of the utilized countdown and countdowns. For example, the left figure is some of the five CDs which intervals are 1200 and 1000 and 800 milliseconds. And right is some of the three CU, which in double also the 1200 and 1000 and 800 milliseconds. In this experiment, one, 150 undergraduate and graduate were participated, and 25 participants were randomly assigned to the one of the six different countdown or countdowns. As an experimental procedure, after one of the 70 CDs or CU were presented, participants were asked to answer the question, what do you feel about this? By choosing the one of the three answers, shorter than X second, X second, and longer than X second. Here, this X corresponded to the length of the participant assigned the countdown or countdowns. Each participant experienced all 70 CDs or CUs two times, so they experienced a total 34 trials. So that this is a snapshot of the, this, experience, uh, this experiment system. Here, the 5 CD is the presenting. After that, then the question and the three answers appeared. Then after the participant selecting the answer, the next 5 CDs were appeared, and so on. Like this. So, in order to determine the first test CD and CUs, we check each participant's answer as to which interval was the shortest perceived as X second. The results were summed up the, this table 1, the, which shows the average ranks of the first test CD and CU, and this one is the differences between the DCDCU and X second. So, from this table, the, we could confirm that the first test CD and CU perceived in X second were determined by the criterion about 250 milliseconds shorter than this X second as display time. And in order to determine the slowest CD and CUs, we check each participant answer to as to which interval was the longest in X second. The result was summed up this table too. From this table, that we could confirm that the slowest CD and CU were determined by the criterion about 10% longer than this X second. So, the result of this experiment 1 can be summed up this way. So, the 3 CD, 3 CU that were from the 2.75 to 3.3 second were perceived as 3 second by the participant, and the 5 CD, 5 CU that were from the 4.75 second and 5.5 second were perceived as 5 second. And the 10 CD and 10 CU that are from the 9.75 second to the 11.25 second were perceived as 10 second. 
and there are no differences in the participant's perception between the countdown and the count apps. Here, we could confirm that the shorter boundary can be determined by the absolute criteria about the 250 milliseconds shorter, while the longer boundary can be determined by the relative criteria like about 10% longer than the displayed time. So, then we could conclude that the human's perception of countdown and count up is sensitive to shorter intervals, while their perception is less sensitive to the longer one. Here, the base of the these findings acquired in the experiment one, we consider whether it is possible to change user's perception of time passing as shorter than the actual passage of time by means of the countdown. So because the countdown with our 950 millisecond intervals were perceived as a shorter than one second, while the countdown with a 10,150 10, millisecond interval that were perceived as exact one second. So the, this characteristics of the human's perception countdown can be utilized for this purpose. So we considered the combination of these longer and shorter interval were that would make sense. Then there we conducted the experiment two to clarify this issue. So in this experiment two, there we prepared the seven different five cities that have a different intervals from the 600, 850, and 933, 1000, 10, uh, and 1100 millisecond. But the the actual length of the, these five cities was exactly five seconds. So here we assume that intervals of the 600, 850, and the 933 millisecond were uh, should be perceived as a shorter than one second and the intervals of the 1000 and the 1100 millisecond that word should be possibly as a one exact one second. So that this figure shows that all five, all seven five cities used in this experiment. The left of the three five cities, the shorter intervals appear first, and in the right of the other three five cities, the shorter intervals appear the last. And the one remaining one is the ordinal five CD that the all intervals were the, the one second. So here, the, this F means the shorter intervals appear first, while the, this L means the shorter intervals appear the last, and the sharp number indicates the time shorter intervals appear. In this experiment, 30 undergraduate and graduate students were participated. And the procedure was almost the same with experiment one. That is, the, after one of the seven five CDs were presented, they were asked to answer the question, what do you feel about this? By choosing the one of the three answers, the shorter than five seconds, five seconds, or the longer than five seconds. So each participant experienced all seven five CDs two times. So this means that they experienced 40 trials in total. So, as a result, the we check the distribution in the punishment answers for each 5CD. This figure shows the list this result. So, regarding the F sharp 1 and F sharp 2, the we could confirm that the total number of the punishment answers shorter than 5 seconds. That were the significantly larger than the other two answers. So, it can be said that these two 5CDs were perceived as being shorter than the actual length of the countdown. And regarding the F sharp 3 and the baseline countdown, the number of the answer, 5 seconds, that were exactly significantly larger than the other two answers. So it can be said that these two 5 CDs were perceived as 5 seconds. So therefore, we could conclude that the 5 CD for which ex extremely shorter intervals first appeared and then the longer, longest intervals appeared the last were perceived as being shorter than 5 seconds. Here, so based on these findings acquired in experiment 2, we consider whether it is possible to implement such countdown in a realistic application to make users perceive their experience of time as being shorter. We then conducted experiment 3 to clarify this. So in this experiment 3, the 63 undergrad and graduate were participated. So other procedure of this experiment 3 is a bit different from the experiment 1 and 2. Specifically, the participants were asked to read a Japanese news article about the 300 character in length and then to select which of four categories this news article should be categorized into. The, after the selection, the next article appeared after displaying the 5 CD. The, each participant experienced four different news articles and three 5 CDs. The screenshot of the experimental system is like this one. 
the participant selecting the news article, which category, then after that, 5CD appeared. Then the next article appears. Then the after the participant selection like this, the next 5CD appears like this. So uh, we prepared two different experiment system. One is called system A. Then this system will display the F sharp one countdown. So before next article appears. So this F sharp one countdown was perceived as being shorter than five seconds observed in experiment two. The other is system B. That this system B show the baseline countdown. So the participant experienced these two the experiment system, the in counterbalanced order. Then after the participant experienced the all two systems, they were asked to answer the question, which of the two systems did you feel you spend more time on by choosing the three choices, first system, second system, or the no differences? So which is the first system or second system is there up to the experiencing order of the system A and B? So as a result, this figure is a distribution in the participant answer about the two experimental system. So this clearly showed that system B was evaluated. They will spend more time on. So this means that we could confirm that the system displaying the F sharp one countdown was perceived as being significantly shorter compared with the system with their experience the displaying the baseline countdown. So this means that this result clearly showed that the F sharp one countdown was quite effective at making users perceive the time as shorter during their actual usage of the applications. Okay, from here, I would like to summarize the achievement of this study from two perspectives. Firstly, we focus on the achievement as a time perception study. So in this study, uh, we could clarify the novel, the uh, human characteristics of the wait time perception countdown. That is, the human's perception is sensitive to the shorter intervals, while their perception is less sensitive to the longer ones. So we believe this asymmetrical time perception, so which is the insensitiveness for longer intervals and the sensitiveness for the shorter intervals, is quite novel findings in the research field about wait time perceptions. So the next, we focus on the achievement as application study. In this study, we could confirmed that there are five CD for which extremely shorter interval first appeared and then the longest interval appeared last were the perceived as being shorter than five seconds. So this was observed not only in the experimental setting but also in the actual application. So this means that effectiveness, applicability and also the ease of installation is a quite strong benefit of this countdown. But however, that this can be also used as a kind of the dark pattern, so we should carefully share this knowledge in this research community. So because of this 5.5 seconds the 5 CD, so this consists of the 1.1 the second intervals. So actually this countdown were perceived as 5 seconds. The, its actual duration is 5.5 seconds. So this means that this, this actually deceiving the, can deceiving the users in wrong ways. So we should be careful about this issue and also that we should share this knowledge into the, our societies, okay? So of course, there are still a lot of limitation or, or unsolved issue in this study. For example, there are no theoretical explanation why such a symmetrical perception can be observed. Or also that we need much more realistic experimental setting, a user is the, the, the actual waiting for the watching the video or something. And also that we need to think about the much more complex combination of the shorter and the longer intervals. Now maybe more or something like that. So finally, the, these three are the kind of the take home message to you. So I appreciate it to hear your comments, question, or the research offers about relating this study is uh, yes, the very welcome it. So again, thanks for your attention.